In today's video, I want to chat to you guys about solar panel and um, tax incentives for individuals. Good day, my name is Henry Huvia. I'm the owner of VSA Accounting Network. In today's video, I want to chat to you guys quickly about the tax incentives that they talked about in the budget speech when it comes to individuals. Basically, the tax benefits that you guys can get, can get when you guys invest into solar energy. And I think just before I get down to the presentation, just remember to give the video a like and remember to subscribe to my channel as well. And let me add it down to my computer, then I can show you guys what I've seen. Yes, so what I want to discuss with you guys is about the solar panel tax incentive for individuals that they uh, released when they talked about the budget speech. So they say, what is the objective of the incentive? And it's obviously to generate electricity. And they say, of you who can claim electricity, the individuals who pay personal income tax and claim the rebate against the tax liability. This rebate is not intended for solar installations at business premises. I'll do a separate video where I will talk about how the process works for businesses what can be claimed so the individuals can claim in a rebate of 25% of the cost of new and unused solar or PV panels up to a maximum of 15,000 rand per individual. For example, if a person buys 10 PV panels at a cost of 4,000 rand per panel, that would mean that that person can claim 10,000 rand as a tax credit. Um, yeah, we will talk about that now. And so a different person buys 20 panels at a cost of 4,000 at each maximum of 80,000 rand. So if you calculate 25% of that, we work out to 20,000 rand, but the limit only to 15,000 rand. And so you can't claim more than 15,000 rand as the rebate. So now let's quickly see over here, so what are the requirements? So the only new or unused solar PV panels qualify. So you can't use second-hand stuff because they want you to only claim it once. They so say the capacity must be a minimum of 275 watts. The panels must be installed at residents, mainly used for individual for domestic purposes. So that's also important to know. So the installation will have to be provided the certificate of compliance. The, the panels must form part of a system that is connected to the main distribution of a private residence. And the rebate will qualify from 1 March 23 to February 2024. So I think that's important. Now they talk about how can people claim the incentive. You would have to have a bad invoice that indicate the cost of the PV panels separate from the other items. So you can't just have one invoice saying 160,000 rand solar system. They want to be able to see the cost of this PV panel separate for, from the batteries and the inverters and stuff like that. And then a certificate of compliance, evidencing that the PV panels were brought into use for the first time between March 23 and February 24. And pay as you payers, taxable payers will be able to claim the rebate during the 2023-24 filing season. So if you installed your solar system now, you would only be able to get this rebate when you do your next tax return, to, so which is going to be uh, July to November 2024. So only next year you will get this rebate from that. Um, so now they just talk about why not gen gen diesel generators and the batteries and stuff. And I think the main thing there is that they want to expand generating itself and not just the storage of it. So what about people who rent their homes so they can also still qualify and sectional title, body corporates. And so I think what I will do um, um, is I will share this guide on the link to this guide in the in, in the video as well. So there's something interesting to, to that they also mentioned of yes, if you sell your home, that there will be no recoupment if you sell your house. Obviously, the PV panels will stay behind. But if you sell the panels before a year, one year period, then they will obviously um, make you pay back some of your, your tax credit that you claimed. So I think um, that's quite important. Then they just talked when they brought bring out the new draft tax and amendment bill. That is when it will come into effect. So I think that is in a nutshell how it works. And I think, yeah, let's quickly just have a quick look in terms of prices because I wanted to do a practical example as well for you guys to get a system working because remember, it's got to be part of a working system. If you go look at 275 watt panels, you can see you can probably get them for, let's call it 3,000 rand a panel. You would need to invert them. And the invert is a five kilowatt, which is a, a relatively small one, but I should be able to run a house. You're looking about 30,000 rand. And if you look at batteries, you probably have to spend about 30,000 rand on a, on a battery system as well. So I just pop that information into a spreadsheet over here. So if I had to go buy inverter for 30,000 rand, my battery another 30,000 rand, obviously somebody needs to install it. Uh, so I say 10,000 rand for installation. I'm obviously not an electrician. 
uh, you know, that's why I'm not charging proper fees, my panels. I want to get the maximum benefit of 25% to a maximum of 15,000 rand. So that's why I put that amount in there. So if I'm selling 3,000 rand in a panel, which means that I would have to install 20 panels to get to 60,000 rand. So my total cost works out to 130,000 rand. My rebate that I will get next year when I do my tax return is 15,000 rand. So the whole system in effect would cost me 115,000 rand. And then it means that I'm saving 12% um, on the total fee. Because if I take 15,000 rand divided by 130,000 rand, then it means that I've got a saving of 12%. So you're basically getting a 12% discount, but you wait a year and a half before you get that discount from sale. So just another interesting thing is that the lower your income is, um, you will obviously only get this rebate if you do pay tax. So if you don't pay any tax, if you only earn, there's a um 100,000 rand for the full year, you barely pay a little bit of tax then. So it means that you won't be able to use the rebate because you're not paying enough tax. So I just quickly went onto a website and just uh, did a calculation over here. So if I'm going to a tax calculator and say that I earn 200,000 rand for the year, then you can see my tax that I've got to pay for the full year works out to 19,000 rand. So if I'm getting back 15,000 rand from the receiver of revenue, then it means that I'm getting back 75% of the tax that I paid, which is really, really cool. If I had to increase this, it depends on I earn 400,000 rand for per year. Because I think if you can afford to install a, a solar system of 130,000 rand, you're probably going to have to pay be quite a, you can probably going to have to earn at least 300,000 rand. But is it called 400,000 rand? Then it can see your tax for the full year 71,000 rand. So if you're getting a rebate of 15,000 rand, then it means you're probably getting back about 20% of the tax that you pay. So I think just the conclusion is, I think initially if for low income earners, there won't be any benefit because they obviously won't pay, be paying any tax. As soon as you start paying tax, initially you will still get 100% of the tax back that you paid. And then pro probably from about 15,000 rand per month, from there, there will be a certain portion of tax that will be stay behind. And so, um, yeah, so the, I think just the conclusion is the more you earn, the, the less the, the, the percentages of the rebate versus the total amount of tax. And I think that's it for now. Yeah, I think it's a really good thing that they at least start looking at giving some incentives for individuals. Yes, that's it. So thanks for watching the video. I think you guys have a better understanding of what's happening when it comes to solar systems and stuff for individuals. So remember to go use those benefits that's out there. Make sure that you do use them. Once again, just remember to give the video a like and remember to subscribe to my channel as well. See you guys for the next one.